Hello. Here again, the, tech, uh, the test that I um, did on my AMD uh, FX uh, 6300 uh, hex core, and now I am doing the same uh, Lua test uh, on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, let's see, uh, this is a Pi 3. And so the first thing that I'm doing is uh, start this and it will run for 15 seconds uh, like the um, the thing that the um, National Museum of Computing uh, challenge has written out for uh, little computers and this is a little computer this is the Raspberry Pi, uh, Pi 3 and I start it and I'm timing it and let's see how far it comes in 15 seconds with a Fibonacci num number. I'm doing the same on a Raspberry Pi 1. Uh, let's see um, how far it comes here. 15 seconds, let's see. Oh, this is uh, slower than on my main computer, but not so much slower. Oh, let's see. The Pi 3 must be ready already. Ah, there it is. Uh, the read time is, uh, of course, uh, 33, uh, uh, 33 seconds. This is not uh, uh, what we are measuring, we are measuring the clock, and the clock is 9 seconds per uh, plus uh, 5 seconds, uh, and you see only that's uh, 15 seconds user and system. And we are at 16,000 uh, for the Fibonacci number, which is quite a large uh, number, as you can see. I can scroll it up a little bit uh, so that you can, uh, at the moment, the numbers are not visual because I'm my head is in the way so I'm going uh, no okay uh, we can only do it the other way so this okay and uh, the CPU on the Raspberry Pi 1 is uh, oh, single uh, single and an ARM V6 with uh, 900 megahertz and it uh, has gone up to 16,772 and the, pro the Lua program is as before uh, the a little Fibonacci program here and uh, this is the same as on the, on the other and I am using uh, this little library here and the library is uh, this you can download that thing uh, from the web and uh, it is um, exactly uh, uh, working over FFE. FFE is uh, a Lua just in time uh, thing to bind uh, the library to the GMP library to Lua, and uh, there is not uh, done much for this. Uh, you can see um, I have uh, installed. Um, where is it? Here. I have installed libgmp3 development for on the Raspberry Pi and the second thing that I did is uh, to link uh, this file uh, into local share Lua 5.1. So uh, the number was uh, 16,772 and on the Raspberry Pi 3, which is also the, the same number, is going up to um, nearly 30,000. Uh, I started it uh, last time when I started it, it was running to 30,000. Here, here it is now um, 29,620. And uh, I did this uh, the exactly the same that I did on the Raspberry Pi uh, one. This is uh, um, a B model, and the 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 first uh, Raspberry Pi uh, that was coming out. 
uh, a little bit uh, slower than the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, the last Raspberry Pi 3 is, as you can see, an ARM 7 and not an ARM 6, and it is um, clocked with uh, 1,000 uh, with 1.2 gigahertz. And uh, you can see the 1.2 gigahertz that's uh, a little bit faster than the other, and that uh, is almost, uh, it's a little bit faster than the clock, I think, uh, but you can uh, calculate that. Um, I'm using uh, standard Lua on, uh, standard Lua just in, just in time on both, because I have still not um, compiled uh, my new Lua for the Raspberry Pi. So this is uh, a little bit slower um, than the version I'm using. But uh, it's not. It should be uh, not uh, that much uh, of a difference because, as I said, uh, most of the calculation uh, will be done by the uh, GNU multiprecision library and not by Lua itself. Okay, I hope I helped you.